it's been uh, with the way that you guys have played defensively? I mean, you know, obviously understanding what we, you know, we, we play our play our game. Uh, we're trying to meet that standard, and when we don't meet that standard, obviously it gets frustrating at times. But, I mean, it just goes back to you know, what we plan to accomplish. So, obviously, you know, getting the win was great, but uh, according to how we wanted to get done, you know, <clears throat> it didn't happen. So, um, just an opportunity you got to take to get better and get back to our craft. Looking back at the Saturday night, what did you see that you felt like didn't meet your standard and, and are those things that are fixable, you feel like? Definitely. It's a lot of things, you know, defensively. And it's, it's not just one person. It's not just a group. It's everybody collectively. Um, you know, there's 11 guys on the field at the same time. And we just all got to be on the same page <clears throat> and uh, trust, the, trust the coach. And, you know, there's you know, a lot of things that we could have done better. Uh, you know, we could have executed. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, that's what practice is for. So we got an opportunity to be better at that. Oh. You mentioned it's not just one group, but as a leader on that defensive line, how do you think the defensive line have played these last two games? <clears throat> I mean, again, according to our standard, it's not where we, we needed it to be. Um, and, again, there's a lot of things that we could have done better. There's a lot of, you know, even for, for myself, there, there's plays that, you know, I, I owe it to myself to make, then make, um, you know, it's not enough just to get pressure. You got to make plays when it counts. And, you know, I, I take pride in that. Obviously, didn't get it done where I wanted to, but, you know, got to keep working. Um, you guys were so, on the front, especially the front seven in, in particular, was so impactful the first few games, uh, but have been less so, I guess, the last two games. Is part of that just the offensive lines that you're going up against and how experienced those guys are? Iowa State and Kansas State both have well over 100 career starts between them. And I'm just wondering, are they better offensive lines than what you guys faced, or have you guys just not been playing as well? I mean, I say, you know, the whole line, great guys, you know, they're well coached, you know, they play well together. But, I mean, the biggest thing, the biggest focus is about us. You know, we got to make sure that we are on our job, you know, that we're playing our best ball. And, you know, we're, we're still trying to find ways to do that. That, that still hasn't happened yet um, for whatever reason. But, you know, that just goes back to the work that we got to put in, and we still got to keep trusting the process and trusting what the coaches are telling us to do. Does, does that become tougher after the last couple of weeks to still keep that confidence and keep that trust and try not to do too uh, too much now? I mean, it's definitely a challenge, but obviously, you know, I always see it as an opportunity as well. Um, and again, it's hard to win November championship, November, you know, and it's the little things, you know, that we got to focus on and try to make sure that they don't turn into big things. So. Lincoln made mention how when you guys played at Kansas State, it was a hostile environment, the first really hostile road environment you played in all season. How do you think change, see things changing when you go to Baylor this weekend? Because it's going to be that similar hostile atmosphere. I mean, you know, Baylor, great program. You know, they're undefeated. Um, <clears throat> And it is, it is going to be a tough environment, but, again, it's not anything that we're not used to. And, again, it's just about being us focusing on the task at hand and making sure everybody's body in and, you know, just doing – if everybody can do their job to their best abilities, we don't need nothing else, nothing more, just everybody at their best and playing sound football. I think that'll take care of itself. Neville, I've heard several former players say that we're down on the sideline and say things like when the crowd left – in the fourth quarter, the energy left the stadium. <clears throat> Do you guys feel that as players? Does it impact you? Um, not, not really. I didn't really uh, take that in. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to play ball no matter what environment you're in. You know, it's, it's about making plays. You know, it's about being effective. And there's gonna be there's gonna be opportunities. There's gonna be times where you don't have that crowd with you. There's gonna be times that it it will be. But at the end of the day, it's about making plays on that field, regardless of. You know where you're at. I know it was your red shirt year, but what do you remember about that 2015 trip to Waco? My red shirt, I, I didn't travel, so I mean it was a it was a good game to watch. I mean it was it was tough. I mean, oh, you played their tails off and came out tight. It was a good game. It was a battle, so I wish I was part of it, but I wasn't. <laughs> How much do you look forward to games like this? Undefeated, game day is going to be there. 
some things to talk about already crowd. You always look forward to big time games like this. Me personally, you know, it's one of those it's a game of crunch during uh, crunch time. So I mean again, it's an opportunity for us to show out. You know, in a great environment against a team that's undefeated, against guys that, you know, they're going to bring it. And then we just got to make sure we have that dog in us and it shows up on game day. You know, everything counts. And it's a great time. Wouldn't have it any other way. You know, definitely looking forward to that opportunity to play and compete against those guys and, you know, do what we're supposed to do. Any more questions for now? Thanks, guys.